What's going on guys, uh, Matt Kelly here. Uh, listen, plan is to go out for a fish early tomorrow morning. It's roughly 10 p.m. at night, so I figure might as well get the boat off the pontoon, down to the water, get it all locked up and get all the gear ready to go so that I'm not doing that painful, painful journey at 5 a.m. or roughly 5 to 5.30 is my plan to go out. So that's the goal for tomorrow morning. I'm um, hoping to pick up maybe some snapper, um, or some big squire and um, I'd possibly get some sharks out of the spot I'm planning so weather conditions look to be okay there'll be a little bit of wind I think we're looking at like 12 knots of wind at about between 5 and 6 5 6 7 a.m. tides look okay so all in all I'm pretty confident um, I think we'll catch something which is cool um, and yeah I figure I might as well bring you guys on for the journey yeah worth, worth a shot right and um, worst case scenario don't catch too much but at least um, you'll see this little part of the world I live in I'll show you the gear that we're taking along with this and um, I'm gonna go get the boat in the water so um see you soon so here's the gear I'm planning on taking in the morning um, just three very very simple little spinner rods um, these two are aren't particularly big rods they're they're very lightweight they're actually really really fun to fish with just little Shimano setups um, and I've got some some reasonably light braid on those so that's the goal so I've got two that are roughly the same size there and then I've got one much heavier piece of gear. Now this is a rod that I've got set up for, um, um, I've caught a couple of sharks on this rod, nothing too huge, too big and crazy, but um, roughly at that, that meter mark. So it's got some thick mono on it, which is cool. And you can see here's my setup for the particular location I'm going to tomorrow. Reasonably big circle hook, and then a, a wire trace. So it's a black wire trace. I'm not sure what weight that trace is, but it's not um, it's not not particularly heavy. But I just find that especially when you're looking at um, at shark, it's worth having a bit of weight on the weight on the trace. So that's the the three rods I'm going to take with us. It's sort of all set up now, ready to go. It's um, all in all, it's going to be a pretty light, pretty light deal. I'm just going to take my standard tackle box. Um, this is rigged up with um, pretty good selection of. Of hooks for the bay, all different sizes and types here. I can go through those in, in late depth later. Got my, my sinkers and a few floats or, or bobbers, as you Americans call them. A small sort of selection of hard body lures. I tend to take these with me everywhere just in case you know the time strikes. And, um, and in here, I've also got some squid jigs. There's quite a few squid out at the moment, and um, it's probably not a bad call to have them have them on hand. There's a few other lures in there as well. And then on the biggest side, I've also been taking this out with me when I head out. Now here's just another small selection. I've, I've, I've seen quite a few reports of mackerel in the area, so I don't want to go out unprepared. Um, so that's the goal. Chopping board um, that actually mounts on the top of a, of a bucket, which is quite cool. So that literally sits there. Um, means I can keep my bait in here. Chop, the bait on, uh, chop it up on here, which is awesome. Um, so tomorrow my plan, unless we do see some um, schools of mackerel, my plan is to be using bait. I'll probably use mullet fillet to start with, and I've got some squid with me as well. So that's the goal. And then yeah, fuel, and let's go get this boat in the water. boats in the water it's all um all chained up and, and good for the night so um I'm gonna um I'm gonna let that sit in there and um and yeah I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning
is it's probably a lot more windy and a lot more rough out here than was forecasted. Um, I'm not super comfortable heading out to the ideal fishing spot in this weather. Um, as you can see, we're really getting pushed around by this wind. So, um, unfortunately, I guess that's the reality of fishing and being outdoors. It's um, sometimes it's easy and, and, um, and the conditions are perfect, and other times it makes it really, really hard. If I had some another person in the boat or weight, then it might work. But um, but yeah, no, I'm not really that keen to push it in these conditions. So, unfortunately, it looks like that's my morning. All that preparation on down the drain. But um, but like I said, that's fishing. So um. Yeah, we'll try again next time.